Welcome to the Scoop School Podcast, where we tackle your conundrums about the retail ice cream and frozen dessert business. And now, here's your host, he'll chocolate dip just about anything. The ice cream bloke and self-appointed headmaster of Scoop School, Steve Christensen. G'day ice cream lovers, thanks for tuning into the podcast, really nice to have you here. Again, hit subscribe, it's not going to hurt you, it doesn't even cost anything, just hit subscribe. And every day you'll get this ice cream goodness in your inbox. Hey, what, what wouldn't be better than us sharing three to five minutes every morning to brighten up your day? Do you want to thank our episode sponsor which is Lloyd's of Pennsylvania. Barry and Andy Jones, love the Joneses, I, I've even met the whole family and even the whole family are as nice as Barry and Andy. Great people, they know how to make some great ice cream mix. So whether you are after uh, soft serve, gelato, uh, premium ice cream, custard, they know frozen custard like the back of their hands, talk to Barry and Andy Jones, lloydsofpa.com, L-L-O-Y-D-S, lloydsofpa.com. Thank you for your episode sponsorship. Now, I do want to talk in this particular video. We've been speaking in the last couple of videos about the process of your menu boards, what works, what doesn't, sectionizing, all that kind of thing. And when you get to the point where you've got some great looking images, you've got some products on the menu board that you really feel comfortable with and you're getting good feedback with, it's important to be able to take that up to the next level. And what we did in all of our stores was we, once we developed the process, once we had the photographs done and they were all up on the menu board, we had what we called Mr. C's TV. Now, our concept was called Mr. C's Frozen Custard or Mr. C's Ice Cream Emporium, depending on which country you came and visited us in. And we would have these images that we basically paid a photographer to come in and take. We had these images blown up, high resolution, on a 42-inch big screen TV on the wall, and it would cycle through these images with some sayings that would basically prompt people to buy. It was almost like a table tent sitting at the table you know you kind of sit at a restaurant you've got the table tent or the things that suggest but this was a 42 inch one on the wall so either while you were sitting in our ice cream shop or whether you were kind of standing in line waiting there was this big screen tv on the wall that basically just had a flash drive or a thumb drive placed into the port which cycled through a powerpoint presentation on a on a closed loop and we had about 30 or 40 different slides some of which were um, customer oriented, some of which were product oriented. So for example, one of the first slides was a two huge pictures of our waffle cones. And in the middle, all we had the saying was the cone of silence. And that would cycle through. And then we would have another one go through, um, which was an image of our banana split, huge big banana split. Again, high resolution, professional quality photograph, up on there with the saying, too good to split. And that was up there for three to five seconds. Then we'd have another image come up. Um, a lot of them was maybe our take home pints. Take home a pint today with images of our pints there. And again, this subliminal process of letting your customers know of these great products that you've got and in the image wise is huge. So again, it's almost like this virtual thumbprint while they're waiting in line. Maybe they just came in here for a cone, but they're looking at that banana split thinking, oh, that looks really good. Hey, you want to split a banana split? No, I'm not going to split a banana split. I'm going to have my own. Okay, well, I'll have my own too. And then people coming in to buy a $2.20 cone are buying a $5 item because they saw it in, in high format, high definition color on this television that's scrolling through products. Now, what else can you put on that? Uh, Mr. C's TV that we called it. Well, every time a customer that would come in, particularly a regular customer, we would actually put their statements up on the board. For example, there was one lady that used to come in from the bank and she would always come in and get some chocolate hazelnut gelato and she'd taste it and she'd always say the same thing. She'd say, I like gelato a lotto. <laughs> and she'd eat this thing. Now it doesn't work if I'm talking in Australian. I like gelato a lotto, it doesn't rhyme. But in an American, I like gelato, a lotto. So we put that on the board. We put it, uh, uh, we call, used to call them Mr. C's quotable quotes or customers quotable quotes. And it was, I like gelato, a lotto. And it was Shirley Smith, US Bank. Again, when Shirley comes in and sees that up on the board, hey, that's really cool. Now you might want to put Shirley Smith, you might want to put S Smith 
to make sure that their anonymity stays the same. Maybe Shirley doesn't want her husband to know that she's coming in every day getting a chocolate hazelnut gelato. I don't know what Shirley's relationship's like. I'll leave that to her. So there's a lot of different things you can put on there. We used to update it with different events. So at the time we're filming this, Halloween's coming up. So we would put a promotional thing up there saying, hey, uh, kids get a free cone when they come in in costume. So all of these things are rotating through on this big screen TV. I don't have to have anyone clicking it there. I've previously formatted it. And so while customers are sitting, while customers are waiting for their order or waiting to order, they're seeing this process unfold before them of all these different products, promotions, other customers' testimonials, and it really is very, very powerful. So have a look at the process of, do you have a, a TV on the wall that you can utilize for that? I'm telling you what, a 42 inch TV in the United States now can be uh, anywhere between uh, 180 and 250 bucks. So you don't need a huge kind of one of the high end brands. Put one up there, make sure it's got a uh, USB port in it and just basically plug that uh, USB or the flash drive in and just get a, a PowerPoint presentation that you can easily do up uh, on the thing. Now I'm going to have a link to the PowerPoint presentation that we used on our, uh, on our show notes here. So you can scroll down, click on that link, it'll take you to our scoopschool.online toolbox and then you'll be able to download that just for an example. So have a look at your own Mr. C's TV. It might be Bob's ice cream TV or it might be whoever's TV. In any case, have a look at it. I think you'll find that beneficial to your customers and to you as the business owner. Thanks for tuning in folks. See you in the next episode. And keep on scooping.